Uh, my name is uh, Miguel Cubes. I uh, am here now uh, on a visit uh, on the 50th year uh, celebration of my, from my graduation. Uh, I graduated in 1962 uh, with a degree of petroleum refining engineering. And uh, it has been uh, uh, quite an experience. I mean, it was, uh, I would say, uh, my my working life after graduating for MICE has been excellent. And I think um, a lot of that has to be because of the original education that I had. And uh, so, so that is, uh, and in this, the right now, there is not even 24 hours that I'm here back in campus. And I already have seen one of the rocks of the moon and I have been I have been in the most uh, energy effic efficient building in the United States, you know, to mention <laughs> a few. When I first walked on campus, I was uh, I came here uh, three months before the start of the freshman year uh, for an intensive English course that was approved. I came here. I was living in Guatemala, originally born in Venezuela then living in Guatemala, and I came from Guatemala here, so I needed to learn English. So, and we had in this uh, particular class, we had 15 students, and we have 12 different nationalities in the, in the <laughs> 15, uh, and it was a, an intensive, uh, I mean, that they prepared us for the technical side of the English languages for the I mean, so we would adequately uh, start school in the freshman year to, to the rest. So, and that was a wonderful experience. We learned, probably we learned, we, we knew some English before, but uh, in here we learn all the slangs, you know, and all that that, uh, that we can do. So that's, and then the, the I, I say the, the impression of starting, starting the class was the thoroughness of each of the disciplines, you know, in this, in the first two years and in the years after, I mean, every every single subject. I remember the chemistry, the crystallography, the mineralogy. I always will remember uh, what a Coulomb is because uh, one of our professors, you know, was saying, "I am a Coulomb," you know, and he was uh, moving around <laughs> the chair. So my. My impression was, uh, I mean, I was completely amazed on, uh, and, I, and I loved the place, you know. I, I loved the place from the very beginning. Uh, we had a, a Professor Keating, who was, uh, I think, one of the, well, at the time, and I think even now, one of the most famous professors that ever uh, was here on this uh, particular uh, uh, fields. And uh, he said, uh, we were in one of these mineralogy classes. We had to determine uh, what the mi particular mineral was, and we were distributed different rocks, and we had to. So we had to add. He said, you will remember this, what I'm telling you now, forever. In order to identify this mineral, you have to add, I mean, with a drop of hydrochloric acid, and then it would create a foam, you know, a green foam. You know, and this foam is sick cut green. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so he says. So you know, this is, and this is, and he says, you will remember it forever. It was 50 years ago, and I still remember it. <laughs> we had to learn the most scale of hardness. You know, of all the all the minerals, and we said, uh, he said, remember this sentence, and he says, the girls can flirt and other queer things can do. And every single starting letter, you know, it goes from do, the diamond, to uh, t, the, it's talc, to diamond, and it goes to the letters of the, you know, the feldspar, the corundum, the, and all the, the rest of the, of the minerals, which was, I mean, as a mnemotechnic, uh, as a mnemotechnic, uh, uh, exercise fantastic so the girls uh, since you brought the girls up how many girls were there on campus when you were here it, well it was just one girl <laughs> uh, Mary McGill and she and we I just I mean we just had uh, breakfast together I mean a moment ago and uh, 
So, so it was it was quite different. I understand now, uh, as I am told, that 25 percent of the mines population is women. Although I was told 50 percent of the women carry the leadership positions. You know, yeah. there were several times that we had. Uh, this was a story on our again on our mineralogy class that uh, we had. I mean, there was a group of students that needed to do an extra effort, and I was part of those students. So Professor Keating said, "You are going to have, uh, you, you are going to have a final exam, but it will be at four in the morning." You know, so we were. It was at four in the morning. It was. Uh, snowing and uh, it was uh, you know a time so that, but that was I mean I will never forget that it was a memorable moment for me you know I was a member of the soccer team that we had and during one of the years uh, that uh, we were uh, uh, that I was here our team was the winner of the local championship Wow. And, and always the, the team to beat was the Air Force Academy. The Air Force Academy, I mean, was uh, like always the first on this particular field. They had very good players. Uh -huh. and, uh, but we, at least one year, we were <laughs> we, <laughs> the soccer tournament. That was the, I mean, we were all for it. And I mean, the rivalry was very strong, you know. I mean, it was very, very strong and we, we felt very strong about our team. I remember a unique story. We had, at the time, uh, we had two summer classes, one after the freshman year uh, for the month of June, and one, one after the junior year. And my freshman year, it was playing surveying, you know, and we had to go to the field and we had to orient ourselves, uh, the bearing of a line with the stars, you know, and we had to, uh, to fix, we carried our equipment, our transits, you know, and we had to position the transits on this hill, and it was difficult. So, but the professor that we had came around, you know, and with with his uh, foot, he would dump, you know, if if your if your transit was not well set up there, you know, the transit would fall. So, <laughs> so we, I mean, he made sure that we we knew how to position our. Yeah, that was one story, and, and that was uh, quite a highlight. I mean, I was completely surprised at 8 in the evening, and it was light, and still we could be working, and <laughs> so it was very good. And then the, the other, we had the other summer class, which was already for petroleum refining engineering, was unit operations, that uh, uh, we had that uh, as, a, uh, as a focus during the the uh, the summer class in the junior year, so that's uh, those were some of the moments. Uh, how did school mines have an impact on your career and and your life as a whole? Uh, well, the in in other words, I mean the impact is uh, is very strong in my in all of my professional career because uh, I think to have this basic knowledge. Uh, it's incredible to have a basic not for I worked for five years in the uh, oil refining business and then for 35 years in this uh, powder detergent dental cream business and uh, the it, even on the powder detergent dental cream soap business the fact I mean knowing geology knowing crystallography and knowing all of the basic mines technologies it's important, you know. You always come and say, "Oh, I know this," or "I I know." And uh, when, uh, you know, and knowing about specifically petroleum uh, on petroleum refining engineering, knowing about gasoline and what the uh, the things were and the processes were, uh, it's always uh, was always important. It, always important. So I always remember mines, you know, with. Uh, with with that type of thinking that this was uh, I mean this was really the moment of education in the life and it was actually the right moment I came here at very young when I was 17 years old oh. I started the I started my uh, my class and I graduated uh, when I was 21 so 
I was very young then, and it was, but it was the moment to get that instruction, the way I look, I look at it retrospectively. During the first five years that I worked, I met several of my old friends from mines in the oil business. I worked for Creole Petroleum Corporation in Venezuela, and there were two or three mining students uh, who, who were students before working for the same company. And uh, also then I worked in Guatemala with a joint venture for uh, uh, for uh, Chevron and uh, uh, Shell, and uh, I also came uh, cross paths with one of my fellow uh, fellow classmates. Uh, then, in uh, later on in my in my uh, career life, I since I was in a completely different business, I I didn't cross paths with any of our mines uh, classmates. <laughs> <laughs> We were the M, you know, the the M of the mines, you know, who stood as a uh, symbol of the of the school. Uh, that was uh, quite an uh, quite an impression. And walking over there, going there, walking over there was uh, was was really nice. And also the impact of having so many international students from different. Uh, I mean, from. Uh, different countries in here was uh, we made friends with all of them and it was uh, uh, all of us incorporated into the uh, into the system learned the system and uh, uh, carried out c carried that with us you know as we left here so so those were uh, yes those were the times you know <laughs> <laughs>